The sentinels rush to meet Karma at the last in altar, eager to hear her strategy for resisting the Black Mist. Except for all the readers who already know about the ruined Karma skin. Aurelia stops in the doorway and looks back at Riven in contempt. She will have to wait outside. The lasting altar must not be defiled by her presence. Uh, mm, I'm sorry, Riven. Would you mind just, uh... It's fine, really. I'll see you once you're done here. This is it. Remember, this place is sacred. Karma is communing with the spirit of the land, so try not to... As if on cue, Olaf releases gas from... Every bodily orifice? Wait, would that even... You know what? I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Really, Olaf? She specifically said not to defile the altar. I can't help it. Running up mountains makes Olaf's stomach churn like the forge of the Ram God himself. All the sentinels glare uncomfortably at Olaf. Ah, blood and damnation. I'll wait outside with the Noxian. You must have an interesting recruitment strategy. You have no idea. So about this karma. She's just inside. You enter the inner sanctum of the altar to find karma not meditating, but staring into the middle distance with her eyes wide open. So this is Karma. I can already sense that she is no ordinary being. Not an aspect, but connected to something vast and deep all the same. It's the collective spiritual wisdom of all Ionia? Indeed. Irelia, you bring visitors. I do. And what's come of your meditation? What has the spirit revealed to you? I'm afraid it is not good. He is coming for it. That sounds dreadful. Who is coming? And for what exactly? Karma reveals she's holding something. A silver flower crafted by a jeweler in some past age. I wonder what would happen if they just chucked it into the ocean. It shimmers with a familiar glow. A fetter. It's another piece of her soul. And the ruined freak will be coming for it. Yes, I have seen him. He is... Obsessed, powerful beyond reason. He will soon take what he seeks, and Ionia with it. You're just giving up? Surely you have some fancy magical spirit thing you can hide it in? Sadly, I do not. There is only one way to keep this fetter from his grasp. Throw it in the ocean? We must take it to the Grove of the Ancients. Have a sty and forest not far from here. Its woods are thick with ancient magic that even the black mist cannot penetrate. There, it will be safe. Karma trails off, roiled by some internal struggle. Uh-oh. Is she always this spacey? No, something is amiss. I'm just going to say Shriek instead of blowing your ears off by screaming into the mic. Great! They're outside! Sorry to defile your temple, but... There's an army of bastard wraiths outside! Oh my! Their wretched claws are prying at the windows! Shoo, awful specters! Back to the ghost realm with you! Gwen sniffs at the wraiths with their scissors as they slither through openings in the windows and doors. The sentinels join her, shooting and hacking at the harrowed intruders as they continue pouring into the sanctum. It's no use. They're coming in from everywhere. We can't just stand here and let them overwhelm us. We have to get the fetter to safety. Karma, if we can deal with these wraiths, do you think you can make it to that forest? There is so much I cannot see. His sway is strong. But I will try. Karma pockets the silver flowers. She prepares to flee. Good. On my signal, we open that door and shoot a path through this press of wraiths. Somebody get Olaf riled up. Oh boy. Already there! Ah. Okay, cool. Good. Karma, get ready to run. <laughs>